in the unlikely event that someone before you or maybe your curiosity got the better of you and you just had to look inside here, if oxygen and moisture has gotten inside this printed circuit area, it needs to be cleaned. And there are two critical areas where the wiper contacts make contact. And again, it's the same kind of a cleaner. There's two points. If right down in the back of this is an extremely fine metal pin contact, which makes a small, I've got my finger under it right there, and this will slide right up through it. Now it's caught there. And you'd be amazed that you can take and eliminate this and the car will still run because it has a limp home mode in it. Take out this out of the circuit. It just won't accelerate right. Rub this back and forth and pull it off. And yes, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a very minor amount of black that came off there. Again, start off with another cleaner piece of paper and insert it down on the wiper strip itself. Now I say this because what we're cleaning here is not the contact itself, we're cleaning the brass on there. So then you just simply cycle this across there. This one here is bent, that's why this is a dead course. And they reached in and during the cleaning process, they bent these, these brass contacts. Bending them back down may or may not make them work properly. The whole point is don't ever mess them up. If I push, see now the paper's moving. You see they're not made, there's not contact in the paper. They've already damaged it. A nice clean number two pencil eraser We'll go in here and just take the patina off of these contacts. And you can get in here, and I would clean this half first, then rotate the contact all the way over, clean what you can underneath here, and very carefully work back behind and try not to get involved with that, the, the brass contacts of the, of the center wiper portion and get the, the black portion of it cleaned off. The rest of it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, effect on it. It's just that black portion where the tangency of the arc intersects those uh, printed circuit contacts. If you clean those up and look down in here to make sure there hasn't been water sitting in this area for any length of time, there's no corrosion on these wires and contacts. Oh, there, here's a fun one. I missed this earlier. These two wires here with the little black wires coming off of them are over to the ambient air temperature sensor, and they will unplug off of here.